Hello, Empty Void of Nothingness. That is my life and YouTube channel. Welcome to the playthrough of Face Noir. You are. Ugh. So I was looking on Steam and found this game, and uh, I love this uh, time period. So this looks like a should be a good game. Let's uh, start. Keeping the uh, I'm gonna keep the episodes to eight minutes long, so start the timer right now. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Can I turn off the sound music? Maybe I'll just keep the music on. I'm not even getting paid for this thing, so... I'm not gonna monetize it. Cool app line. Leaving the... The Borg Youth Airport Hanger. What the fuck? Greta, I have to stop that plane from leaving. What are you going to do? I don't know yet. You get the car. It's hidden in the trees near the entrance. The keys are on the dash. Okay. It's a horrible place to leave Keep the keys. Keep running. We need to leave as soon as I get the girl. Jack. Yes? Be careful. No. There's no time to be careful. Not this time. Greta, go. Go. Make me a sandwich. Dannazione. It's too late. It looks like you're too late, Del Nero. What are you doing here? Can I turn off? The, oh, I'm gonna turn off the music, even though I love that music. Music all the way down. Confirm. Resume. Why aren't you on that plane? I hate traveling. I'm not the kind of guy who crosses the desert on a camel. I prefer the comfort of the big city. Moreover, had I left, I would have missed the chance to deal with you. You made me look ridiculous in the eyes of the organization. What are we playing cards? I don't have any intention of letting you get away with it. And what do you want to do? Kill me? I can see it on your face that you've never shot anyone. You're not that kind of guy. You send your men to do your dirty work. You're right. I've never shot anyone. Even though many men and women died because I ordered it. How brave. But you know, there's a first time for everything. Oh! Ow. It was destiny, Del Nero. Damn, there's no blood. Less than 24 hours before. It had to be a little past four in the afternoon. I had just lit one of the many cigarettes that fill my days with no clients. Smoking's bad for you. A middle-aged guy comes into my office with two caterpillars for eyebrows and a cigar hanging from his mouth. He introduces himself as Harvey Weber, the owner of Weber Company, a meat house in Larchmont. After ten minutes of pointless chatter about his job, he gives me a photograph. Susan Weber, 20 years old, Harvey's stepdaughter. He tells me all about her carefree lifestyle, her dreams of becoming an actress, and how she hasn't come home in weeks. But Whoa. how he keeps getting bills for clothes, shoes, and other things that might catch the eye of a 20-year-old girl with a well-heeled old man. Harvey, because of his divorce agreement with his ex-wife, is responsible for supporting the girl until she turns 21. So the kid decides to take advantage of her old man while she can and spend as much as possible until she turns 21. But Harvey Weber isn't one to sit on his hands, and he got his attorneys on the case. They think that if Susan were caught having an affair that her old man wouldn't know of, it could bring the evidence to court and get her cut off. Just one photograph would do it, according to Harvey. I take the job. I'll get him that photograph. The whole thing will cost him 30 bucks a day, plus expenses. Papa, paparazzi. Harvey gives paparazzi. me a check for 30 bucks and leaves my office. I cash the check, toss down something that can be called a dinner, and I'm already in Harlem. A few dollars got me a tip that Harvey Weber's kid might be around here. At the Last Heaven Hotel, to be precise. That's a horrible name for a hotel. You know things are going down in that hotel if it's called According The Last Heaven. Information that I have, a few days ago, some blondie went on a shopping spree here in Harlem. 
In this neighborhood, if you have money to spend on clothes and jewelry, it's easy to get noticed. I even managed to find out that the girl was seen entering the Last Heaven Hotel. I'd better ask a few questions. And we enter the hotel. Now this is like a point and click kind of thing? It looks like not even the shiny world of show business has managed to escape the grasp of the Great Depression. It's my car. Besides my investigator's license, it's the only thing I have. That's a cool car though. That's a really nice car. Don't keep selling yourself up on that car, man. Just wait a few years. We're worth millions. Name for a hotel in Harlem. From the information that I got, this is where Harvey Weber's stepdaughter is. Can I move? How do how do I go in there? Uh, just point and click. I don't usually play point and click games. This is weird. There are photographs of black musicians hanging everywhere. Probably jazz players. Racist. They could be rap artists, you know. I don't want to talk to you, and I'm just going to go right past you and look at another ma photograph. Because I love jazz. There are photographs of black musicians hanging everywhere. Probably jazz players. Racist. There are some candies in this bowl. Why are there candies in this... Oh my, it's this kind... Of, it's that kind of hotel. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if I can put this on YouTube. Sitting down and reading the newspaper. I should have been a reception clerk. I would have certainly been healthier. No. Hey, you. Where do you think you're going? Upstairs. Hey, that's the way to the rooms. But I don't think you're one of my guests. I'm looking for a woman. Well, who is it nowadays? He's got to get for you. Hey. You? That's the I'm looking for a woman. Well, who Shut up. How do I actually talk to him? Sitting down and reading the newspaper. I should have been a reception clerk. Um. Yeah, oh, there's there's a speaking option. Yes, you know that newspaper. This place. Well, it depends on who wants to know. I'm a private detective. I'm a private detective. A private detective. I guess someone has gotten himself in trouble. Yeah. More or less. Someone it's or about some a girl. A girl, you say? There are a lot of them here, and for a few bucks, they can give you a night that will stay in your memory. I knew it was that kind of hotel. Long time. I knew it. She's not a prostitute. Okay. Susan Weber, white, medium Just frame, said. blonde hair, twenty years, and pretty enough to cause her some troubles. Have you seen her? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not used to giving out information about my guests to the first person who happens by. People come here to have a place where no one can find them, and not just for a place where to sleep. And I try to help them with that as much as I can. You must have a good imagination, Carlos. Uh, come on, you must... You, uh, come on, don't make a fuss. Timer is done. I should just continue this conversation. Come on, don't make such a fuss. Tell me where I can find Miss Weber. Come on, don't make a fuss. Tell me where I can find Miss Weber. Sorry, but you won't get anywhere by being pushy. You must have a good imagination to call this hotel the Last Heaven. You must have a good imagination to call this hotel Last Heaven. No fantasies or sentimentalities. They're not for me. At least not anymore. This hotel belonged to my brother, Louis Fitzgerald Heaven. There were nine of us, and he was the youngest. That's why people called him the Last Heaven. When he bought the hotel, he didn't have any doubts about what to call it. At that time, this place was falling apart, but Lewis was sure he could turn it into a good hotel, and he made it. Hey. How come it's you running it now? My brother can't take care of it anymore. In October 1926, some redneck who missed the good old days of slavery refused to pay his three-day rent for the room. What a bitch. He said that he would have never given money to a Negro. When my brother threatened to call the police, the guy pulled out a gun and pulled the trigger. Shot him in the guts. My brother died almost immediately. Damn! When he was small, he never let anyone to push him around. And what we all thought of as a quality eventually turned out to be what killed him. And the hotel stayed closed for years, and 
It was I who reopened it five years later, but without my brother, it wasn't the same hotel anymore. Did the police get the killer? Well, you already know the answer. One day, great men will be able to change how things are, and there won't be any more hatred between blacks and whites. Nowadays, in about they 30 years. streets in New York after these great men. And when that happens, it means they didn't meet with a happy ending. Tell me where I can find the girl. I've already told you that you won't get anywhere in this way. Mm. Forget about it. Forget about it. Now, whatever you want. I want this you to job tip. probably doesn't pay too much. I'm sure that with a little encouragement, you would tell me more. Ten bucks should be more than enough for some information. These might make you change your mind. Oh, bribery. You buy information? Oh, that yeah. must be one important girl you're looking for. Enough for someone to hire me. You know, lately, a lot of people like you have come by. They ask questions, look for people. Once, this hotel was considered one of the best in Harlem. Now it's become a shelter for criminals, easy women, and people who are running away from something. All it took was a couple of years of recession to turn New York into a cesspool. I wonder where this city's going to end up. Where it always has. Nowhere. Ah, you're exactly. always headed somewhere. Good or bad, you always have a direction. The day that New York will be rotten through and through, that will be the day that the good God himself will come down to crush it. Don't count on that. I know people in this city who would manage to bribe your good God with a couple of well-aimed compliments. So, I guess you're not a believer. I believe in whiskey, and in all those things that I can explain in a day. Well, without faith, it's impossible to survive in this city. Everyone needs something to believe in. Probably I just I believe in anyway, let's end this catechism and lesson. I'm gonna get sued by that artist. You said her name is Susan Weber? Yes. Susan Weber, with two B's. Hmm, Susan Weber. Oh, you gave me money in exchange for information, but who says that I have any? Dannazione, you must have a list with the Who's names Italiana? of the guests. As I told you earlier, this hotel is a place where half the tenants are poor devils trying to get away from something. They usually don't give their real names. A hundred John Smiths, a dozen George Washingtons, even a couple of Charlie Chaplins pass through this hotel. Dude, so there is no can I get his autograph? Name Susan Weber. That's right, son. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. If you want, you can take your money back. Keep it. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Oh my... This isn't going anywhere, guys. So I'm going to pause it. Until next time, empty void of nothingness. That is my YouTube channel. Have a good day. And... Our night. And our... Oh, well, no one's watching this anyway. So, F9.